Pad. It's Maximus here. This is going to be a quick video since I just did a review of the metric set. This is the Sunix 12 point half inch drive impact master set. This time fractional. 3 eighths to 1 and a half inches by 16 No skips. It's a nine, only a 19 piece set. Paid 70 bucks for this thing. I was going to mention in the previous video, kind of an update, that the 26 piece metric set was 10 through 36, but they were missing the, they skipped the 31, which is a little bit annoying, but they do sell it. But unfortunately, when you buy an indi individual socket, it's pretty expensive. This was like, I think I paid like 14 bucks or something just to have the 31 millimeter cleat to complete that metric set. Anyway, the fractional set's kind of interesting. Uh, just because on the metric set, there are basically two heights of sockets. The shorter and then the taller ones were on the fractional ones, and you can see there's even a gap where they use, there probably were just a full height, but instead they have basically shorter ones and they start getting taller right at 15 sixteenths and one inch. And then they get to the extra deep. As the sockets get large in diameter, you do need a little bit of extra depth. And so from one and a sixteenth through one and a half, they are larger. They do include the rare, the less common, which is nice about the master sets, the one and three sixteenths, one and five sixteenths, one and three eighths, and one and seven sixteenths. All the auto shops seem to have one and a half, I think, for axle nuts, but some of those other sizes are kind of hard to find. As far as how these are made, Sunexes have always been pretty good. And for 68 bucks, I think these are pretty decent. They have a real thick industrial finish. It's actually pretty heavy duty. They don't chamfer the input ends, but their impact sockets, the anvil, the impact wrench is going to chamfer that for you through use. One thing I would appreciate is if they did do an undercut, like a more traditional impact socket, and maybe put a through hole on both sides. Otherwise, these things are all manufactured pretty well, well oiled so they don't get rusty when they're being shipped or anything like that. They make the weird claim that 12 point makes less wear on fasteners, which is uh, bogus. Just because they have smaller bumps, they can uh, slip and strip out. So if you have really stuck, or rusted corroded fasteners, it is advised that you do use six point. The nice thing about 12 point, it's just really easy to get on a fastener just because you have uh, twice as many angles. The disc and socket can turn every 30 degrees instead of every 60 degrees. So it just makes it easier in service situations of just getting the tool onto the fastener and using it and going to work. Fitment seems good. This three quarter inch is just fine. How about this, whatever this is? I think this is a seven sixteenths. Nope, that's a half inch. I always like Sunex sockets. They always seem to have a pretty tight uh, tolerances and seems no different here. Let's do a little impact test. All right, we'll give it a quick test. This is just to see how much damage because you, you know with cheap impact sockets, even after one use, it, the metal seems pretty soft and really starts to round out, especially where the anvil is. So we're just gonna do a quick little uh, test here and uh, drive this in here. Surprisingly loud. Knock that back out again. And so the Sunex sockets always seem to have good heat treatment. You can see there's just a barely, just a just a bit of wear right where, right on the sharp edge. So not being chamfered really shows that they're pretty good. I've always found on the receiving end that they're just pretty darn nice that's for sure and I should mention I'm holding this in a rag because this bolt's so hot a lot of friction driving fasteners and wood that's for sure but this is one of those uh super tanium bolts and this bolt is super hard I've actually used this bolt several times in several videos as that same demonstration and this thing barely wears so this is a very hard bolt and the Sunex he really shows barely anywhere at all you can even see that there's the industrial finish is basically just fine. So always been appreciative of that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Max and this out.